Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about a single push button on and off. So let's look at the example first. Push button on and off. When push button is pressed and released, then the output will be on and when push button is again pressed and released, then the output will be off. So in this example, a single push button is used to turn on and turn off the single output. That means when the first time is uh, that a push button is pressed and released, the output will be on and then when it is second time pressed and released, then the same output will turn off. So for this example, we will use normally open contacts and normally close contacts. We will be also using memory bits. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. So this is an interface of TI portal version 16. Firstly, we need to go to PLC tags, then default tag table. So here we need to add our inputs and outputs. So we have one input that is a push button and then we have one output that is a push button and we have one output let's say output and after that we need to go to program blocks and then main ob1 we will double click on it so here we will draw the ladder diagram so firstly i will insert a normally open contact here for push button and then I will insert a coil for a memory bit so this will be a push button and then this will be a memory bit so this will be M0.0 .0. and after that I will open the branch add one more coil here this will be also a memory bit M0.1 So here we will use this M0.0 here, this M0.0 as normally open contact, M0.0 as normally open contact and this coil will be for uh, the output. So this will be output. And then we will latch it here. So I will add a normally open contact, close a branch and this will be output. So here, when push button is turned on, as you can see here, M0.0 .0 gets true and also M0.1 gets true. If the output is off, so we'll use here a normally close contact. So in the beginning, output is off. So when push button is turned on, this M0.0 .0 gets true and when M0.0 .0 gets true, output gets off. And when output gets off, this M0.0 .0 gets off but this output remains true as it has been latched here and then when the push button is pressed and the output is also on here we will use it as output as normally open contact and also this output is on m0.1 gets true and when M0.1 gets true here, we will use this as normally close contact M0.1 gets true, then this output turns off. We'll start simulation here. Click on load. And then finish. After that, I will start the CPU. Click on OK. And then I will uh, start monitoring. And then I will switch to the project view.
here we need to create a new project let's create Here we will go to simulation tables and then simulation table 1. Right click here and load project tax. As you can see here, when push button is pressed and then released, the output gets on and then when it is second time pressed and released, the output gets off. The output gets off. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.